<clears throat> We're back. Welcome to the Old God's Meadery, where I make mead every single week. Every Saturday, I present a new mead here on TikTok and on YouTube, if you follow me there. It's always represented by a uh, country from around the world. This week's, this coming Saturday's, is inspired by Canada. So, tune back Saturday. It's going to be awesome. Tonight, we're racking batch six of our live meads, though. Completely separate mead making process. We're going to be uh, just doing these on the lives. So, this is apple cinnamon mead. Um, this is a fermenting bucket, a two-gallon ferming, fer fermenting bucket. We started this two weeks ago. Um, it's apple cider, cinnamon sticks, honey, three pounds of honey, yeast, and yeast nutrient. Uh, the yeast has turned all the sugars that it can into alcohol. The carbon dioxide came out through this airlock. I know it's done fermenting because this airlock stopped bubbling. So the yeast has officially hit its alcohol tolerance, which means it cannot produce any more alcohol in its current state. So we're going to take this lid off and we're going to transfer it in this one gallon carboy where it's going to sit for about three months during its clarification process or its secondary. And then it'll be crystal clear like some of these things you see down here and ready to drink. So let's get started. First things first, we got to pull this lid off. Everything you see that touches the meat has been sanitized, including my hands. You always want to stay clean because bad stuff can get in there and ruin your batch of meat. It looks gross. Let me come around and show you. You ready? Yeah. I don't know if anybody drink that in its current state, but we're going to fix it. Don't worry. Don't worry. <clears throat> this is a simple... Oh, I didn't, I didn't center you. Hold on. Better. This is a simple hand pump mini siphon. It works with gravity. So all we're going to do is set it in here very gently because uh, I don't want any of that gunk that's floating at the top to get inside. It smells like apple cider and alcohol. Couple pumps and then uh, with any luck gravity will take over. And there we go. We are officially transferring mead. Yep, there we go. And it's actually relatively clear so far. I'm pretty impressed. I am pretty impressed. I didn't expect that. I thought it was going to be like cloudy because the apple cider itself was cloudy. We might have something here. I've never made this before. As a matter of fact, if you follow, I never make any of the batches twice that you see on uh, any of the social medias. Sometimes I try to perfect a recipe, so I'll alter it. I've only done that a few times. But every single week, I make a brand new batch of mead. And we never use the same recipes, ever. So yeah, this is coming out absolutely stunningly beautiful. And I didn't expect it, so I'm very excited. If you're just joining us, welcome to the Old God's Meadery. This is live batch six. So we've made six batches of mead. I've shown you a different step of the process every single Wednesday. Tonight, we're racking it. Next week, we'll start batch seven. So we'll be starting the primary from the very beginning. So stay tuned. I don't even know what it's going to be yet, but I know who I'm going to ask. If you have any suggestions, you can always send me a uh, direct message. I do read them. <coughs> Excuse me as I clear my voice. In case uh, you don't follow, um, this isn't my regular voice. I am rapidly losing my voice tonight, and I don't know why. I was fine a couple hours ago. And maybe an hour ago, I'm like, wait a minute, I'm a little scratchy. So I'm coming down with something. 
But that's okay. The show must go on, right? So we're here. This is just, I'm so stunned on how beautiful this is. Like, it looks like it's ready to drink. I'm going to let it sit anyway, but you could, you could definitely drink this in its current state. I'm shocked and excited. This is apple cider mead. So it's apple cider. Uh, there's a few cinnamon sticks. I think three cinnamon sticks in there somewhere. Three pounds of honey, two grams of yeast, and about a half teaspoon of yeast nutrient. And that's it. Over the last two weeks, that yeast has been eating the sugars that it can inside the apple cider, turning them into carbon dioxide, which leaked out of our airlock, and alcohol, which stayed into uh, stayed in the bucket. Now we're transferring that beautiful alcohol into our one gallon carboy. There it'll sit for about 90 days. And it'll rotate back through these Wednesday lives. So eventually we'll be tasting this mead on a Wednesday live. In approximately three months from now. If you don't uh, already, please follow. If you really want to help, always subscribe to my lives. For a very little bit of, a little bit amount of money, you help me go a tremendous uh, a tremendous length in uh, what I do here. And uh, we are building the community to do some uh, subscribe content. I lost my train of thought. Subscribe exclusive content. That was the word I was looking for. So yeah, subscribe. We're almost done here. Once the liquid gets, it's just at the one gallon mark now. It's just below it. Um, once we get to about the handle here, I'm going to pull the siphon and we're going to put a new airlock on that. And I'll show you that in one second. It's starting to get some of the gunk at the bottom, which I didn't want, but it's okay. It'll settle. We're there. Actually, probably went a little too deep, but that's okay. Not like you haven't heard that before. All right. That's it, guys. Now we're going to, this is a fermenting carboy screw cap. It's got a little hole in it for this airlock. This is a three-piece airlock. Main portion there, center portion here. We're going to add a little bit of water about halfway up. That way, if there's any yeast in there, which there probably is, <clears throat> it will still ferment and it'll still be able to escape the bottle just fine. Yeah, we're clearing the airlock. We're good to go. That's it. That's it. We have racked back six of our live meads. I am going to swivel around to the other side now. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching the recording, this is where it's going to cut off. So I'll be right back for everybody else.